right video too. Out with the uh, Rutus for an hour. Just tidy to retire on Equinox. Wasn't really fine a lot with it today. Feel well, a little bit temperamental. Uh, certainly giving some weird pinpointer readings. So I thought we'd have a go with the uh, Rutus Alt 71 instead. See what we get. First signal is a bit scratchy, but we'll dig it and see. And it's a scrap of something, but I don't know what. Got some sort of like teeth or gears onto it. Anyway. <sighs> Don't look real. Next bit out is a rather large piece of lead. But pretty formless. Uh, next up pretty clear signal, strong line. When you look down, just put the detector down, so the earphones off. When I looked down, I think we can actually see the coin on the ground. Pinpoint for that. It's really sunny today so apologies for this making the camera difficult to see. Uh, two P. Modern two P. But first we coin over there and uh, so there it is. And the next thing come out come out in a clod. Bit scratchy, but see what it is. So, looks like a prestard. See the shape of that. Yep, yeah, prestard of some description. Shank on the back. Sorry about the uh, focus, it's uh, really bright today. There you go. Right, so here's a demo of the. Um, Pinpointer and behaving bizarrely. Here's what I dug out, which is a press the button of some description. So move that out of the way over there. Bring it all the way back over here. Go to this clod. It's got nothing in it. Do that. See, no metal in that whatsoever, but it's picking it up as if it was. Same with that one. We found, and yet yeah, it's saying there is. And if I keep taping and put the uh, turn that off, get my other pinpointer on. My original pinpointer. And it shows nothing at all. The same bits of earth, nothing whatsoever. Those bits of earth. And then I go back over to the prestard. So it works on the prestard it found. But the pinpointer doesn't show anything in here where the other one does. So shows nothing on here whatsoever. Keep taping. The new pinpointer. It's showing nothing from the new pin, the old pin pointer which works fine that's for see the old pin pointer works on the new pin pointer setting it off nothing in that earth there and that's the old pin pointer pointer uh, the new pin pointer pointer so there's nothing in here whatsoever but this pin pointer is convinced there is and there isn't so I think that's a faulty unit Next up is a very small, I thought it was a button and press stud, but it doesn't obviously have a shank on it. It is a pretty small, it's about a centimetre across. Uh, clean up arm, see if that's anything more than a, a random disc of metal. Very, very clear signal here. 
hopefully you can see that in the uh, sum. Let me run a bit. So high teens, very straight line on the rutus. I do like the um, the graphical nature of the rutus. Very good for spotting you know, consistent targets. Right. Dig this and see if it proves me right. And no idea what this is, but this big lump of thing may or may not have some form of shape to it is uh, what I picked out. And next up is a, oh, a bit of a bite. Don't know. It's a thingy. Also noticed quite a lot of pottery on this field. Which is always a good sign. Uh, and it looks relatively old, certainly not modern pottery. Plenty around here, so hopefully it's indicative of a good beer. This scratchy signal to start with. Proved to really straight 111 when I took the plug out, and then I sort of accidentally flicks it out of the side of the hole. You see it at the bottom. I don't know if it's a button on it yet. Uh, that looks to be that is the coin. George the something, go look at it. Which one? Is that George? Not sure it is. I did it when we get home. But uh, first uh, three decimal identifiable coin today. Uh, maybe I was right about the uh, pottery in this little area. I'm about three feet away from where I showed you the pottery in the previous clip. Great signal here. Well, you can see that through the sum, see what we get. Great signal. God, it's a tin can. Now is what appears to be in a regularly shaped button. We'll clean it up when we get home. Um, we'll shank on the back part of it. It's a bit of an odd shape for a button, but who knows.